737 billion dollars. 737 billion dollars. What would you do if I gave you 737 billion dollars? That works out to six dollars per day per American. Hmm. For this year. Hmm. That's, that's two lattes every day for every American for a year. That's, that's, that's two gallons of gasoline, which is pretty much what just about anybody uses for gasoline. Your total gasoline for a year. Hmm. Hmm. A family of four could eat a specialty, a large family size specialty pizza. Yes. Every night, every night for a year. Yes, yes, yes. 737 billion dollars. What did we do with that money? Wait for it. Yes, Texas! Don't mess with Texas, the saying goes, right? I doubt that W could point it out on a map, even if it's on his home state. <laughs> Another country that he could not point out on a map, I am sure, he actually invaded. Yes, remember 2001? 2001, the towers came down. And he was so angry, we were all so angry, that we invaded Afghanistan. Yes! 2001, and here we are. The war turns 18 in October, right? Right? What is this Afghanistan? Well, yes, it's um, it's a lot like Texas, really. Yes, yes, in size, it's an area. Yes, it's the same size as as Texas. And in terms of population, just throw in an additional five million, and you've got Texas. To remove everything modern, of course. Yes, right. And you've got Afghanistan. Right, right. And that's who he invaded. Yes, right. He wanted revenge, right? He wanted revenge because Osama bin Laden took down the towers and killed 3,000 Americans. And of course, the name of his, his, his operation was, we're going to go there and kick their ass. No, it was Operation Enduring Freedom. Yes, it's really a positive thing, right? A positive thing. Yes, yes, yes. I almost miss W sometimes, you know? When I think of Donald J. Trump, almost. Anyway, yes, yes. So here we are, 18 years later. What do we have to show for it? Well, we spent $737 billion and we lost 2,500 soldiers. And we had another 20,000 get wounded. Plus 150,000, depending on who's counting, Afghan civilians who lost their lives. Hmm, what do we have to show for it? Well, currently, after 18 years, the Taliban owns half the countryside. Huh! Half the country, just like that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How did we get here? Well, here's how you lose the Afghan war in three easy steps. Thank you, Dabia. It begins with him. So he invades, right, someplace he can't find on a map, and, and, and we kick ass. Right? After a few months, we declare, you know, mission accomplished. Why? Because the Taliban ran for the hills, right? In Kandahar, down in the southeast corner of the country. Yes, he, they ran for the hills, we declared mission accomplished, and went home. And the Taliban looked down from the hills and said, Hey, they're gone! Party! And they came down, and they started fighting again. Huh. Ten years go by. Now it's 2010. And we get pissed off again, because it's still going on. So we evade again, and we kick ass. And the Taliban runs for the hills, and, 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 and we leave. And they look down from the hills and say, hey, they're gone, party! And the fighting goes on. So here we are ten years later, and the Taliban run half the country. Hmm, do you think we're going to invade again? It's an interesting question. So yes, three easy steps in losing the Afghan war. Then there's step number two. This one goes to Obama. It's, uh, ignore the problem. Yes, right, right, just go play golf instead. See, because, you know, there we are, we're running things, pretty much, either through NATO or through the UN or something, we are running things, the, the Americans are, and why didn't we just simply play big sister to the thugs and say, you know what, you are going to do what you're supposed to do, instead of just, you know, taking all that money and buying another Swiss chalet to go skiing in the winter. No, 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 no. No, you're actually going to pave potholes. You're going to remove the garbage on a routine basis. You're going to make sure there's clean water coming out of the tap. 
and clean air for the kitties to breathe, and you're going to build schools and clinics, and you're going to make sure there's infrastructure because hey, there's no birth control. This is this is uh, this is you know this is Afghanistan, so they've got like this burgeoning birth rate, and there are no jobs for those boys growing up, so they become hooligans. Yes, why didn't we play Big Sister to the thugs running Afghanistan? No, Obama just ignored the problem and went and played golf instead. Thank you, Obama. Right, and now we have the third step. Because it's Donald J. Trump's turn, right? What does he do? Well, he just sweeps it under the carpet. Why? Because he's a loser. Yes, yes, Donald J. Trump is losing the Afghan war. Yes, and he doesn't want his Trumpists to know about it because it makes them look weak. And then they might not, they might not get off their bar stools and go vote for him on tw in 2020, right? Right, right, right. Yes, so here's what they're doing. It's a neat little trick, right? What they do is they tell the Afghans to stop releasing their data and they blame it on the Afghan government and say, well, they're the ones who are doing it. Right, this inspector general says, you know what? They're not doing it anymore, and Trump says, hey, what a great idea. I think we won't spread the bad news around either. So now there's no more news. The Pentagon just announced that they're not going to let the media know about just how badly we are losing the Afghan war and the fact that Taliban runs half the country right now. Huh, interesting that, isn't it? Yes, right. Now, there's so many comparisons to Donald J. Trump and Nixon, and I hate to offer another one, but yes, well, 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 oh God, will it make me a cliche if I offer yet one more comparison between Richard, I am not a crook, Milhouse Nixon, and Donnie J. Trump? Well, just one more, just one more. Vietnam, right? Because here we are, the peace accords in 1973, right? The, uh, the prime minister or the president of, of uh, South Vietnam freaks when he sees the peace agreement. He says, if I sign this and your troops go home, they're going to be in Saigon within the week. And Dick Nixon says, you know what? You've got Dick Nixon on your side. You sign that agreement and you're going to like it because don't worry if things ever truly go south, I, Dick Nixon, will be there for you. Huh. And then two months later when things did go south in South Vietnam, was he there? No. Why? Because he was trying to keep himself out of jail during Watergate and he just threw South Vietnam as a country over the side as bad cargo. And here's the thing. We were winning. Does this sound remotely familiar to you? So back to that 737 billion. What could we do with it? I mean, we threw it away, didn't we? Yes. Well, we could. We, that's the utilities payment for every single American in this country for a year. That's that's that's. Uh, we could cut our health care costs in half for every family. Oh, we could lease two hundred Accords for every family, or a Ford F one fifty if you're if you're feeling patriotic. Yes, 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 yes. We could do all of that, or we could even. How about this one? A half gallon of ice cream for every American every day for a year. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. If we're just going to throw it away anyway, let's, let's do ice cream. I'm mint chocolate chip. What are you? Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. Just click on that red box below. I want to keep you laughing.